Lesson 22, Session 4, page 509. We are comparing numbers. When we are comparing numbers, we look to see which number is less and which number is more, which number is fewer, or which number is greater. And we know that we read from left to right. And when we look at numbers, we have to look at how many digits are in the number. Here we have one, two digits. In this number, we have one, two digits. So because it has two digits, we know that there are tens and we know there are ones. In this two digit number, we know we have tens and we know we have ones. So we want to look at the digit that is in the greatest place value, which right now is the tens place. So here you can see that there are one, there's one ten, two tens, three tens. That has a value of 30. Here we have one ten, two tens. Those tens have a value of 20. So 30 and 20. Which side is more? 30 is greater. So I'm going to give it two dots. 20 is less. I'm going to give it one dot. I start on the side with two dots and I go to the other side to make my cone. 30 is greater than 20. I can write it the other way too. I could write 20 and 30, right? 20 is fewer, it gets one dot. 30 is greater, it gets two dots. Start on the side with more, connect those dots. 20 is fewer than 30. I'm saying the same thing. Two tens is less than three tens. So 25 is less than 32. Number one, fill in the blanks, then write less than. Notice the less than is pointed first, and we read left to right, right? Fill in the blanks, then write less than greater than or equal in the circle. Here we have some tens and some ones. So let's count. These have a value of 10, 10, 10, 10. Let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. There is a value of 40, but how many tens do we have? One ten. Two tens, three tens, four tens. We only have four tens. And how many ones? One one, two ones, three ones, four ones. Four tens and four ones, 44. Let's look here. We have tens for all my 10 sticks. And we have four of them. But what is the value? 10, 20, 30, 40. We have 40 as the value, but how many tens do we have? Do we have 40 tens? No, if we had 40 tens, we would have 400, right? So we only write four tens and seven ones. Now, they try to trick us, but we're not going to let them trick us. Here we have 44. Here we have 47. Look at what they did. They put 47 on this side, right? This side is greater, so I'm giving it two dots. 44 is fewer, so I'm giving it one dot. I'll go back to the side with two dots and connect those dots so I can read it the correct way. 47 is greater than 44. 
Problem number two says, fill in the blanks, then write less than, greater than, or equal in the circle. Blank tens and blank ones, blank tens and blank ones, 70 blank 58. Remember to look at your place value. Let's make our place value t-chart. We have tens and we have ones. Here we have the number 58. We have tens and we have ones. And because we read from left to right, we know we have to look at the greatest place value first. So here we have seven tens. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, new line, six tens, seven tens. Do we have any ones? Nope. Let's look at the tens over here. How many tens? Five. One tens, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, and eight ones. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have 70 and we have 58. Remember, when you're looking and comparing the tens place first, we don't need to write the ones out if, unless the numbers are the same. Because seven is greater, I'm going to write seven tens here, zero ones, five tens here, eight ones. Because I don't have to look at the ones place, because seven is more than five. And remember, it's not just seven, it's seven D is greater than 50. So I give it two dots here for the 70, one dot for the 50 and connect my dots. 70 is greater than 58.